Hi there ladies and gentlemen, look what I've got. I got the Anakin Skywalker Club Racer that I've been uh, building in the previous videos out for a uh, maiden flight. Now uh, technically it's not the maiden flight, I've already done some hovering indoors, but well that's not really a flight, <laughs> some hovering. So uh, yeah, like I said, We'll be uh, taking it for a spin today in this uh, park and it's a, a reasonably nice day. It is very cold, but there is uh, hardly any wind to speak of. So, um, yeah, I'll hook up a lipo and uh, we'll see how it does. Here we go. Okay. Beeper. Um, that uh, stuttering you saw <laughs> was uh, the air mode, because uh, the quad uh, isn't level. So I might not want air mode to be engaged always, like I have now. But, as you can see, it does fly. Which is very nice. Um, I'm at the moment looking how easy it is to keep orientation, that's one thing. And I have to ca be careful not to fly to my left, <laughs> because I'll be flying straight into the sun. Oh, I'm flying on the 4S by the way. Um, It sounds like one of the propellers is slipping a little on punch-outs. So I'll have to address that. And my yaw speed is lacking. The yaw speed really isn't fast enough. I, I'd lose orientation just from the yaw speed not being fast enough. It is very easy to fly though, as you can probably tell, it's butter smooth, only at uh, yeah, punch outs uh, I he heard uh, a weird noise. Um, I am running beta flight, 3 point uh, what, 1, the, the latest version. Um, I have to say that um, I did have a one motor stutter a little at low throttle uh, and I did not have that problem in clean flight. That's a bit weird or, or with the clean flight firmware. So that's, that's a bit uh, weirdish. So maybe I'll uh, just revert back to a uh, clean flight. It is, yeah, bank. It is nice and responsive. Um, obviously I'm not flying it FPV, so it's hard to judge the PID settings, but you tell me, it's reasonably stable in hover. Reasonably, it's very stable in hover. I'm not sure if you can hear that weird noise if I punch the throttle. Really weird noise. Um, yeah, might uh, also be due to uh, the beta flight uh, settings I'm running. Very weird. Anyhow, it does fly. Which is very nice. Um, no, it's not super nice that it m it's making these weird noises. But I'm sure I'll uh, figure that out. Should I be trying flips? I'm not sure.
Yeah, let's bring it in a little closer and try a flip before the battery dies. Okay, oh, that was very easy. And very fast. Yeah, that's where uh, c having air mode switched on really comes in, of course. Okay, yeah, um, apart from that noise, the beta flight setup works very well, as you can probably tell. Uh, maybe you, you have a suggestion what that, what that uh, noise is caused by. Very weird. Uh, again, I, uh, I don't know if you can actually hear it. Oh, the flips are very clean. Very, very nice. Clean, clean. Yeah, the, <laughs> the quadcopter has an abundance of power, that helps. Very nice flips. Cool. Alright, a uh, reasonably successful uh, main of flight. By now my hands are freezing off, so uh, <laughs> enough for now. <laughs> I'll uh, get back to uh, the studio and see if I can figure out what is causing that weird noise. Alright, like I said, enough for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it was entertaining and or informative. Oh, I do have a list of all components I'll, I use on this uh, quad cutter if you are interested in the description down below. Again, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you back on another video. Bye bye.